Good morning, folks. We're going to hit space weather, tropical activity, an earthquake, a realistic warning on weather modification, a tipping point during the last disaster cycle, and a look at how age determination of previous events are off. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that the calm has continued. The sunspots have stabilized and are not really developing into highly complex active regions. Only eruption of note the last day went off the departing limb on the south. The horseshoe of plasma we looked at yesterday remains rooted in the chromosphere as the active region turns in to face the Earth directly, still watching the filaments in addition to those sunspot groups. Let's go next to the weather, where I'm seeing several articles about potential development in the Atlantic, but this storm in the East Pacific is rapidly intensifying into a major hurricane. It is poised to shoot northward and take aim at Southern California in the coming days. It will have drastically weakened by the time it arrives, but the remnants should be pretty impressive when they arrive regardless. We'll be keeping an eye on that, but right now let's go to seismicity where the top earthquake of the last week struck Vanuatu yesterday. Luckily, it was quite deep at the low velocity zone, which minimized surface rumbling. On to the first article today. With all the talk of weather modification and blocking out the sun, it's good to see scientists cautioning against playing God in the sky. They definitively state how hard it would be to actually sustain solar irradiance management and how, if it ceased for any reason, the planet would rapidly swing back in the other direction. It's no secret observers are no fans of geoengineering, so this one would fall on the positive side. Good article here on how right after the last 12,000 year disaster, a major climate shift took place in Africa. They say that right after Gothenburg and the Younger Dryas, the Horn of Africa entered its exacerbating drought phase. This is something observers do expect to shift back after this next disaster cycle here soon. Last but not least, excellent paper here on dating of past events through ice cores. They not only suggest that the age uncertainty is underestimated by 10 to 15 percent, but that they overcount ice layers since in colder times, one layer may not represent one year, but one major storm. This is one of the best ways we know things are generally younger than ice core dating would normally suggest they are. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.